Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Sable video. Today we have more spoilers. Like today's like a huge spoiler day. There is literally like a thousand spoilers today. But yeah, we have more spoilers. Today's spoilers is on jumping. Star Sable is um adding updated jumping where like there's faults if you if your horse like lands in the water or something like that so you know how like there's sometimes like water troughs under the jumps if you like in real horse shows if you if your horse like touches the water that's a penalty and um yeah if you get enough penalties you're disqualified but um yeah so they're going to do that now but if you get disqualified you can just hit redo the race if you get like if you get so many penalties that you get disqualified, hit redo the race and it will just send you back to the beginning and you can redo that race. But like it's not like you have to wait until like tomorrow to redo the race because you got disqualified. Wait till the next show like in real life. That would just be very annoying. But yeah, um we got spoilers, updated jumping. If you, like, knock a pole or your horse refuses the jump. So, that's a part of Star Stable's new, like, animation thing. Like, where, like, they're, like, adding in, like, animations. So, this is a new part of that. So, these spoilers will show you, like... <coughs> oh, my gosh, sorry. But, you can, like... Your horse can refuse a jump, like... So it's all a part of the animation thing. Your horse can refuse a jump or like you just forget to hit the space bar and like you don't like jump over the jump. Or if you're on mobile, you don't hit the jump button on your iPad or iPhone. Um, so yeah, um, you will, if you don't do that or you like knock a pole, that will count as a penalty. So, like, if you, like, forget to jump or your horse refuses, those are penalties. Horse refusing is a part of their whole animation thing. You forgetting to jump, like, that's just, like, that's just, like, you're, you, you forgot. Like, that has nothing to do with their new animations. Um, knocking a pole, that means you just didn't jump, like, at the right time and you knocked a pole, that's, that's on, I think that's on you, but it might be a part of their animation thing where, like, horses can knock poles even you even when you did it perfectly. I feel like that would be kind of annoying, but it's, a, it's all a part of them trying to make this, uh, the game more realistic. Um, if your horse steps into a water trough, that's also a part of their animation thing, or if you just don't jump long enough. Um, if you, like, jump from too far away, you're not going to complete the jump fully, and your horse's legs might end up in the water trough because it's pretty wide. So, um, yeah, that either could be on you or the horse's animations. They could also be adding that as animations. But, um, yeah, so there's so many possibilities for horse animations, but we'll just find out which ones are animations and which ones are on you when jumping actually gets um updated onto the game but yeah they are updating jumping and yeah we're gonna check out these spoilers so yeah of course as always this is made by the wonderful cc creations i mean like cc creations like honestly she like she's the best like she makes all of the star Seal spoiler videos and, like, like, thank you so much. Like, very useful. But, yeah, we're going to check out these spoilers. So, I'm going to hop over there. And, uh, yeah, let's check out these animations. So, here's new jumping. As you can see, better show jumping doesn't work properly yet. So... You go over to here, it's like a new race. Kind of looks like the um races that we only get for like a month. So, um yeah. It says 
I'm sure you entered plenty of show jumping races in your fic already, but you may have surprised the lack of, shall we say, rules. I decided it's it is high time for a serious approach to show jumping around here. Most parts of the world, you get penalties if you knock poles down or if your horse refuses a jump to a jump an obstacle. So knocking poles, refusing, that's all part of their new animation plan to make everything more realistic. I designed the course to train us in these rules. Why don't you try it? I installed some beautifully designed obstacles for superior experience. Let me explain the rules to you. If you knock down a pole, that's four penalties. If your horse refuses to jump, that's another four. If you knock down any amount of poles, but your horse refuses to jump twice, you're eliminated slash disqualified, and you'll have to try again. Like I said, you could just click try again after you get disqualified or eliminated. Time is also a factor. A course has a, a course has a set max time, and if you six, exceed that, you'll get an extra penalty per second over time. The goal is to complete the course quickly as possible with no penalties. So here we have the start page. We have complete the course as fast as you can with the fewest faults as possible. There are four t fault types. Tear down an obstacle for four faults each time. Over time, one fault each second over the allowed time. Hoof and water, four faults each time. That's what I'm saying, like when your uh, horse's hoof goes into a water trough. And then refusal, four, 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 four faults at refusal. In elimination upon second refusal. So, um, yeah. Welcome to show jumping with official Yorvik rules. You can hit start the show jumping race, or you can quit and say, like, I want to do this later. But, yeah. Anyways, let's see. So we have some pretty nice jumps. I really like them. I really like this jump, like moon and clouds. That's a pretty jump. Some stars and clouds. We got some butterfly jumps. Those look pretty good too. All these jumps are new. I really like them. Oh, we got people cheering too. That's pretty good. I love the wall jumps. I've, like, always wanted to jump those in real life. Like, i only been able to jump, like, one of them. But, like, look at the people cheering. I love that animation. Oh, look. Um, let's back it up. Back it up. So, this is what I'm talking I missed it. Alright, let's see if we can get it this time. So... You see this, like, water trough thing at the bottom. If your hoof, if you, like, jump from very far away and, like, you knock a pole down and then your hoof goes into water and it's all a disaster, um, that, um, that's what I mean. Like, if your hoof goes into this water, it's four penalties. But you guys might be asking, if you tear down the poles and then your hoof also goes into the water, that's eight penalties. So if you tear down the obstacle and your hoof also goes into the water while tearing down the obstacle, that's eight penalties. So you get four from knocking down the poles and four from the hoof and water. So that will be eight penalties in total just from one jump, if you guys are asking. The water trough is a whole different thing. But anyways, let's continue. We have the lovely wall again. A normal jump. I feel like we've had this before. But, yeah, that's the race. I really like it. Um, so let's see. Um, you got total of, uh, your score was 60. Um, your horse, 
why am I confused on what this is? What was it at the beginning? So water, you touch zero water, jumps over time, 43 seconds, refusal 14. There was 14 refusals? I don't even think there was 14 jumps. But whatever. Um, tear down obstacle, that's it. Uh, that was what they tear down one obstacle. Oh, I probably know why. They probably stopped filming when they messed up something. But, yeah, they did 14 refusals. So now we know. Expect there to be a lot of refusals. Because, I mean, if that was only half of the race and there was this many refusals in the other half, expect a lot of refusals. Um... You're probably not going to get it um, under time unless you have like a level 13 or 14 horse because of what I'm seeing, 43 seconds over. Um, and tearing down obstacles, I, I'm thinking that's not on the animation side. I'm thinking that's just probably a, like, oh no, you accidentally knocked the pole like normal star stable. So I don't think that's animations, but... Refusals are definitely the an new animations for the show jumping. And yeah, you get a total score of 60. And you could choose to start over or leave. So yeah, this is new. This is very cool and I'm very excited. Um, we already saw this. We, we know lunging. So, um, yeah. We got, um show jumping and i am very excited to see what star stable has in store from us for us but um yeah we got show jumping and i am very excited to try it out when star stable um when star stable uh when star stable uh puts that out into game but yes Anyway, um, that is it for today. Um, this is the new show jumping, and I'm very excited for when it will be released. And, um, yeah, I'm very excited to try it out. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys don't know already, I have a pull up on my community page. It is involving, um, what do you think my intro slash outro music should be? Because, um, I need music ideas. Like, I, like, I gotta get an intro out, an outro out. So put in the comments what your music ideas are for that. And, um, make sure you guys let me know your opinion for that. And, um, yeah. I'm just going to wait for this whisk because I don't want to, like, be looking at my recording tab and be like, oh, no, I forgot where the whisk went. Yes, as I expected, it went here. But, anyways, yeah, that's it for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, comment on my community poll. And, um, yeah. I will see you guys next time. Bye.